Hello, my name is Maud, I'm an automated test conceptor and welcome to this tutorial on variables on AgiliTest. In this tutorial we will see how to create environment variables, then we'll see how to create non-editable variables and finally we'll see how to create and use some editable variables. First, you have to know that there are two variable origins to simplify operation and avoid errors. The orange color variables that come from the UI and elements of the tested applications are non-editable variables, whereas the purple color variables that are declared by the user or created from orange non-editable variables can be edited or modified. We want to create an environment variable in our project. For that, open the Execution Parameters tab. Then go to the Execution Parameter part and click on the Add button to add a new parameter. For example, we want one browser that is used by all the scripts. So we enter the browser variable. Then we're just going to write the browser that we want to use for all our scripts. So here we're going to go with Chrome for example. Then, if you want to put it in practice, you have to open a channel. So click on the channel's action and select Start Channel. Instead of directly clicking on the Chrome browser, you can click on this little button and you can choose Environment Variable and click on the variable we've created. Now, as you can see, Chrome will be opened by the channel. On this part, we want to add a property variable. So for this, Click on the property action to generate variables from elements from the tested application. Then capture the property you want to use. Here we're going to capture this property. Select the name and value attribute and drop it into the interface element of your property action. There we want the value, so we write down value or we click on this button to see every property that can be captured. Then click on the play button to execute the action and as you can see the property captured appeared. On this final part we want to use the different editable script variable available. So for example if we want to let's say use only one part of the generated element of the property variable we created earlier like you can see here you're going to click on the menu button on the script variable window and select create a variable. This will create a purple editable color variable. Here it is a regular expression, so click on the button of the same name. Then select the variable you want to use. So for this example, it's the one we created earlier. In this variable, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five elements with a blank space between each. So this is the use of the regular expression when you enter five pattern. Now, if you want to only extract the variable word, which is the fifth element, we're going to use this selection. Then you enter the number five and the variable word is showing, as you can see. If you want to know more about this part, don't hesitate to look through the documentation on AgiliTest about regular expressions. Then there are other variables that exist. For example, you have the under variable. You can give it a name. So here it's going to be the name text. Then you can enter the text you want to see appear. So next, if you want to put it into practice everywhere on AgiliTest, click on the under text action and click on specific value button and choose the text variable. You can check the value, like for example, if you want this value to correspond to another one. So here we're going to change the text to variables to make it correspond. And once you execute the action on the GD test, it will tell you that it corresponds. You can also create date variables by creating a new variable and click on the date button. For example, you can enter today's date with the command $today. The date will appear, but if you want to change the format, you can click on the website linked in the description below where all types of dates that exist is listed. There you can copy and paste on the format part on AgiliTest, like this. And as you can see, the date is showing in a different part. Also, if you want to have the date 
in year plus one, you can modify this in this part. It will add the number of years you want. It also works for the months and also for the day. It is also it also works for the negative. Then you have the hourly variables. So for example, enter an hour, then minutes and seconds. It will show in the variable. You can also add or reduce hours or minutes or seconds. Finally, you have the numeric variable. So here you can enter a number with a decimal like 15.2333, etc. So if you want to reduce the decimal, you can click on this arrow. Minus one will show the entire number, but if you increase the number, it will also show more decimal. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time. Bye bye.